morning everyone final talk of the day before the q and a session i hope this is not a sleepy session for you all so let's do a hands on guide to object identification and this is definitely going to be an add on to oren rubin's session if you all have attended the statistical element locators what he talked about was more from his tool perspective as well as something from the basics of locators however this is going in depth of object locators how you have to adopt best practices to identify those locators and before that we also see what are those locators like css xpath and so on and how does selenium use it to identify the elements so consider this as a 101 tutorial on object identification one of the most basic aspects of automation who am i okay a test automation consultant with like close to 10 years of experience working with selenium based frameworks and other tools as well i speak at different forums and a trainer mentor to different mnc's and startups just in short you can visit my profile what's the agenda for the next 35 40 minutes uh, we cover the basics of object identification what are css selectors or locators as people call them what are xpath locators let's go into a bit of advanced locators how we can play around with that a ready cheat sheet for you all i know like if someone is using unix you have those cheat sheets ready printed on your desktops always automators can have this cheat sheet now on and some best practices which uh, i will be sharing based on the experiences as well as case studies on whatever we have experienced so far or the problem areas of automation and yes you can tweet on the following hashtags on and make the selenium conference more popular on twitter so let's get into the basics of object identification uh we'll make this interactive i'm not going to be the only person speaking out here what exactly do you do when you start automation apart from the tooling aspects to understand the html technology to understand the web technologies correct or directly do you just go and okay selenium dot find elements and blah 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 do you do that no what is the first thing that you do when you open the browser or your application under test what do you do of course that is what everyone does yeah but you still you first go before even object identification you try to analyze the page source even before object identification you try to understand the related underlying html technologies that is being used this 